Hello, this is Julie Harland, and I'm going to do a Desmos demonstration. So we're going to work with parabolas. So a parabola is in the form y equals ax, sorry, ax squared plus bx plus c. But there's actually going to be numbers there. So if you see over here, there is absolutely no nothing over here because I have to say what a, b, and c are if I do it this way. But basically it means you have at least an x squared term. That is the highest degree is 2. Okay, so let's do some easy. Let's just do y equals x squared. This is what it looks like. y equals x squared. It's called a parabola. All the ordered pairs that goes through like c0, 0, zero Let's see, and I could trace along here, and you know, I could see, you know, approximately what this is. So let's say you put in 1 for x. Well, like that would give you 1 for y, so there's, that would be this point right here. If you put in 2 for x, y equals 2 squared, that would be right here, etc. And you also have negative 2, 4 on the other side. So you can learn things about parabola just by playing around with this. Let's just do, how about y equals x squared. Let's say, hmm, what would it look like if I had y equals x squared minus 3? Hmm. Well, it's still a parabola going up, but what we have is the bottom point is down here at 0, negative 3. So for the original first parabola, we had y equals x squared. That's right here. And here is the bottom point, 0, negative 3. So you can play around with this some more. Say, what about if we had y equals x squared, let's say, plus 1, the green one. Ah, this one is up here. So there's always on a parabola either a bottom which is called a minimum ordered pair, bottom point. Or we might have a parabola going down. If we put minus x squared, ah, this one goes down. Now there's a maximum point. It means there's, that's the highest point on the parabola is 0, 0 for the purple one. Whatever coefficient is front of, in front of x squared really determines whether it goes up or down. If it's going up, there's got to be a bottom point. If it goes down, there's got to be a uh, minimum point. Let's just turn all these off for now. And here's my original parabola a. Let's do ax squared just to make it simple. And it has a slider. What it's saying is you can put in different things for a. So I could say, well, that's what it looks like when I've got y equals 1x squared, which is y equals x squared. And now if I want to slide, I could see, ah, what if it's like uh, a is 1.3? You notice, ah, oh, it seems to be getting skinnier. There's y equals 3. It's still going up. The vertex point here is still at 0, 0. That's your minimum point. It's called the vertex point. And what about if I go into the left? Ah. Here's a equals 0. It's really not a parabola anymore because you wouldn't have an x squared term. 0 times x squared is 0. But let's, ah, negative 0.3. What happens? It's going down. And as I go to the left, the slide to the left, I'm getting larger negative numbers, right? The absolute value is larger. And I'm getting very skinny. So when the coefficient of x squared is positive, it went up, but when it was negative, it went down. You could also do that for a specific value. You could say, okay, I want a to be 3. In other words, y equals 3x squared, and that's what it looks like. Or I could say, hmm, what if I wanted y equals negative 3? That's what it looks like. So one thing you could do with um, Desmos is just try different things out like this, picking different values of a. Or you could just put in a specific parabola, like here's y equals 2x squared, no a anymore, right? Let's get rid of the a. And let's do minus 3x plus 5. Hmm, that's what that parabola would look like. And I could say, what if it was 
minus 10, well that's what that parabola would look like. And you can put your, uh, you can go on the x-axis and find out what the x-intercepts are. So this is negative 1.6080. Of course, on the x-axis, the y-value has to be zero, and here's the other one. Now, these are approximate. They're to the nearest thousandth. And on the y-axis, we can find the y-intercept. That happens to be zero, negative ten. Those are easier to figure out, the, the y-intercepts, because if we go down to the original equation here, and you put in zero for x, these first two terms go to zero, so you have y equals negative 10. So it's pretty simple to figure out the y coordinate on your own, but the x coordinate, that's harder. But we could read it. So let's say we change this to, hmm, what if it was a negative 2x squared minus 3x minus 10? Let's just do, make that change. Ah, all of a sudden, it's going the opposite direction. It's going down, etc. So you can learn a lot by playing around with uh, Desmos. And let's say you did a problem that um, was part of your homework and you want to see if you got it right. What you could do is go on Desmos and just plug it in and make sure that it's going through the same point. So let's say this was a problem on your homework and you did it on your own graph paper, of course. Then you can come and check it and say, do I have it going through the right ordered pairs? Does it look about right on my own graph paper? You might have another problem in a different format. Maybe it looks like this, negative parentheses x plus 2, let's see, squared, um, let's say, plus 6. Ah, that's what that would look like. So if you had graphed this parabola, and I'm not teaching you how to, how to graph the parabolas right here. That would be on my other videos. This is just how to check and see if you got the right answer. So if you know the form of a parabola in standard form, this tells you that the vertex point is negative 2, 6. And notice that is that point right here we see. That's the maximum um, point. It's at negative 2, 6. And so 6 is the maximum point because the maximum I mean, value is just really the y coordinate. How high is it? But the vertex point is x equals negative 2. And we, that, there's a mirror image on both sides, and you can see that. So if instead we change this to 3 in front of it, now we see it's a parabola going up because this is positive, etc. So you could plug anything you want in here. Let's see, we go back to y equals 3 x squared plus 6, let's say you were graphing that, and you can check check in Desmos to make sure you've graphed it correctly. So I hope that helps you check all of your answers.